So this morning I woke up to a interesting article I found on Kotaku that Democrats are actually pushing a certain bill to be pushed towards Congress, I guess, or wherever it goes, basically, as far as I can remember, to basically stop bots from buying up consoles and graphics cards. So let's go ahead and get into this article. A group of Democrats are introducing the Stopping Grinch Bots Act, a proposal with an incredibly stupid name that is aimed at preventing the use of bots to snatch up stocks of goods from online retailers. Yeah, that'd be really nice to have that and have it implemented, but we all know how, you know, the government works and how lazily they do it. Representative Paul Tonko, Senator Richard Blumenthal, Blumenthal, something like that, Senator Majority Leader Chuck Schmer, and Senator Ben Ray Lejeune announced a bill on November 29th, which aims to crack down on cyber grinches using bot technology to quickly buy up whole inventories of popular holiday toys and resell them to parents at higher prices. Okay, I kind of wish that this bill is going to do what it's supposedly going to do, but this kind of like falls under like, yeah, if it's during the holiday season, you know, it's really not going to help if it's just targeting the holiday season. We need something that's all year round because we're like losing so many consoles and stuff. And I could easily go on eBay right now and find like the PS5 going for like thousands and thousands. It's, it's absolutely insane. And now as I'm reading through the rest of this article, it's basically saying it's kind of going to be hard to kind of trace these people down and, you know, get rid of the bots, which is kind of true. I mean, the retailers lately between like GameStop, Walmart, Target, Best Buy, Best Buy has barely done anything worth even trying. And I'll be completely honest, this is going to be a tough bill to have. And I have a feeling that if they if this does get past two it's going to go into the corporation kind of side and they're going to have to redesign their whole system again. And I doubt they're even going to do it, especially with GameStop right now. There's a story going out right now that uh, not a lot of their employees are thinking about just abandoning GameStop. And I don't think GameStop is going to just say like, eh, screw, we're not, we don't care. We're just going to make all of our money, especially with Amazon. Amazon do not care at all. They'll just, uh, they'll just take your pre-order and, and call it a day on that one. It's, it's an absolute mess, and like I said, even if this bill passes, guys, it's not going to fix the problems. What needs to happen, honestly, is that bill needs to be put together more in line of where they go after the scalpers on online, shut down their websites, and take their bots off the market. And if they can, and another thing that does need to happen too. There is like, what is it, the, uh, I can't remember, like there's add-ons that you can have to your, you know, your internet uh, service like Google Chrome and whatever that is that can detect that stuff. What these websites need to do is have one of those detections go like, ting, 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 oh, we detect it, you have this on your PC, we're going to uh, uh, block your IP address and blah, blah, blah. Just little things that can happen and it can really help to alleviate some of the scalping and stuff, but... We all know how these old people are in the Congress. They don't care. They just want to do a little band-aid fix on the little problem that they've been ignoring for years. Especially microtransactions and loot boxes that have been taking advantage of people for years. But you know what? Better late than never. Hong Congress. Anyway, guys. Thank you for being an absolute chat and listening to me rant. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.